Hello, hi Marcelo, and on this tutorial we will learn about word automation in Wipath. So we will learn how to read and add text to a word file, how to insert a data table, and so on. So just before getting started, just create a word file with text, as this one, and as a requirement, uh, let's install the wipad.words.activities package that has activities designed to work with Word. So here on the package manager, let's click on all packages and let's search for the package wipad.word.activities. And here we have it, so let's install it. So the package is installed now. So here on activities, if we write on the search word, we can see many activities that works with word files. So first we we'll have to use the word application scope activity. So on this activity, we will define the word file to automate, to interact. And now so it provides a scope to use the other activities that will do some actions with the file. So let's drag first the word application scope and let's decay the document path, the path of the word file. So let's decay the word file and let's start the path on the variable. So I will create the variable str word path, for example. And now let's set the default value of this variable to the path of the word file. Then we can see here on the right side some properties. So auto save that by default it's set to true. So by this way, the changes made to the document will be saved. Then create if not exist. So if here we indicate the path, a document path where it doesn't exist any file, the file will be created by this activity. And then here read only. So if we want to set the file to read only. So now that we have here a setup done on the word application scope activity, inside of it we will execute the actions on the word file. So let's get started by trying to extract, to get the text from the word file. And to get the text from the word file, let's use the activity read text that we can see it here. So let's drag it inside of the word application scope. So it's really important to be inside of the word application scope is the only way that it will work. So uh, now we have to create the variable to store the text that was extracted, that was read from the file. So let's create the variable str word text. And to see if it worked well, if it was able to get the text, to read the text, let's just use a message box after to display the value inside of this variable, word text. So let's run our process. And here we can see on the message box the text from the word file. So uh, now we can remove this message box. So after read the text from the word file, let's try to add some text. So to add some text to the word file, let's use the activity append text. And let's use this one from the word category. And here we have to decay the text to write. So let's here add just a test. Wipath works really well with Word. And here we can see had new line before text. So if we set this to true, it will add just a new line. Uh, before the text that already exists on the word file. So let's leave this option checked and let's run our process. So 
process finished. Let's open the Word file. Here we can see the text that already exists on the file. And here on the hand, we can see the text that was added by the activity. So now that we know how to add text to a Word file, let's learn how to insert a data table on it. So here we can see that I have an Excel file with the meet data. And so we will learn how to add this table, how to insert this table on the Word file. So here, let's use the activity insert data table. And here we can see the activity insert data table in document. So let's drag it. So here we have to indicate the table to insert. So now we have to use the read range activity to read the data from the file. Let's use the one uh, read range workbook. And here, and here let's indicate the Excel file. So let's just store the Excel file path to a variable. And here, and now on the variables panel, let's paste the path. Now here we have to enter the sheet name, which is sheet one. So let's enter the sheet name. Then here, uh, let's create the data table variable, dt dummy data. And now here on the search data table in document, on table to insert, let's call the dt underscore the mid data data table. And now we have here some options insert relative to document, bookmark, or text. So we, here we can define where we want to insert the data table related to something, to the document, bookmark, or text. So let's define document. And now here on position where to insert, let's set to the end. So let's just close the Excel and Word. And let's run our process. So let's see now how it looks, the Word file. So here we can see that was added again the text and then was inserted the data table with the data from the Excel file. So let's learn now how to insert an image on the Word file. So on Whitepath Studio, let's search for the activity add picture and let's use it. So here we have to provide the picture to insert. So let's select it. I'll just store the image path on the variable. And let's see, find the variable's default value with the image path. And now here we can insert the image related to something as we have this option also on the data table. So it can be related to a document, bookmark or text. So let's set uh, related to document and let's try on the start of the document. So let's run our process again. Let's just close first the file. Let's open the Word file. And here we can see the image inserted. And then below we can see that was added again the text and the data table. And that's it for this tutorial. If you like it, please smash the like button. And now so subscribe to the channel and enable the notifications bell so we'll get notified on this tutorial that is launched on this channel.